Hey everyone, my name is Rick and I am your disc golf coach here to hopefully help you learn something new or to improve your game a little bit. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about how to throw a grenade. We're going to go over the grip, uh, the disc selection, and what the shot is actually useful for. If you've never seen a grenade before, I'm going to show you a quick video uh, that shows you the flight path of the disc. It's a very unique shot that can be useful in a lot of situations. So basically the shot is a just kind of a straight arcing shot, very minimal left to right movement, uh, and it just spikes down and sits. So as you can see here, just goes straight up in the air and then just spikes down, just almost in a completely dead straight line. Uh, it's very useful in a lot of situations. Um, basically, if you're trying to hit a very specific distance or um, uh, go over some trees, maybe you don't have a gap anywhere that you're looking or the only shot really is to go over top of something. Um, or like I said, the precise distance, say like you want it to land and there's like a hill to one side or the other or to behind the basket that you're throwing to or wherever your shot is and you want the disc to just sit so with the grenade, it doesn't really have a whole lot of forward motion to it. Uh, and with the, the spin on the disc and the angle, it just sometimes it will just tombstone and just dig right into the ground. Or it will just, it, even if it does bounce, it just kind of sits exactly where it lands. Uh, it doesn't really have a lot of motion outside of that. So it can be a very useful shot. It's not the easiest shot to throw. Um, we're going to go over... Uh, the grip here. The reason uh, I did a video for this uh, throw specifically is because a lot of people, after watching me throw a grenade, they always ask me how I do it and tell me why it has not worked for them. So I'm going to go over the grip, which is, I think, the spot a lot of people struggle with. And this is why a lot of people don't throw this shot. So people have seen the, the grip that people throw, uh, some people that I've seen throw grenades throw like this. And I can't get this to work for me. And I think this is why other people don't throw grenades is because the, the gripping the disc like this just doesn't feel right to me. It doesn't come out of my hand good. Or the rim of the disc actually kind of scrapes against my thumb really hard on the inside. And it actually hurts to throw this shot. So I just kind of didn't do it. But I wanted to find a way to throw a grenade because it's a really useful shot. So what I did is actually use something, uh, if you do any weightlifting or powerlifting, it's, it's pretty much a hook grip that you would be using on a barbell. So when you get to the, the edge of the disc, you're gonna take your index finger and press it up against the inside of the rim like that. And then you're gonna take your thumb and you wrap the thumb over top and you press your finger into the disc and you have a very solid grip right there. And that's what you want is that very solid grip. On the back side, you're just kind of supporting it with your fingers. Nothing special. It doesn't, I don't think it really matters where your fingers are. As long as you have some sort of a support uh, on the disc, the biggest part is going to be gripping with this hook grip right here. And when you have all that pressure and you're throwing, it helps the disc to rip out and get a really good spin and it'll go really far. Uh, so that's something that you're going to need to experiment with. It feels really weird at first, but once you get the hang of it and get used to the release, uh, it works really well. Uh, another thing you want to think about is the type of disc that you're going to be throwing. So for me, I have big hands, so I can throw pretty much anything like this with a grenade. If you have smaller hands, you're going to want a smaller or thinner rim because it's a lot for your finger to reach over if you don't have a, a big hand. Uh, so maybe like a lower speed, but very stable disc. I prefer a flat disc, very flat. Seems to work, has a good flight path for me. Um, I will throw, an, just for reference, an MVP phase or a Tesla. So when you're throwing these, the more stable the disc, it's going to stay directly on that line when you throw it up and down and finish slightly left of the throw. It's, I'm, when I say slightly, I mean very slightly. It's almost a straight line that you're throwing these on. If you want your disc to finish slightly right, throw a slightly less stable disc. I'm not saying understable, I'm saying slightly less stable. You don't have to throw something super understable. 
uh, but I throw a Tesla for my understable shot, and it actually finishes slightly right, because when it comes out, it actually kind of has a little bit of turn, and then it catches that air, and then finishes right. I'll show you in the video uh, the two different shots here. So let's start here. So the first throw is a phase. So if you look at it, it's going to come out and then finish slightly to the left of the throw. So it just stays on that line and then finishes slightly left. Now the next one's a, a Tesla, which is a little bit less stable, not a lot. But if you notice, it has enough turn on it for the bottom of the disc to expose and go to the right-hand side, just ever so slightly. So you can um, shape the shots of this a little bit too. Um, nothing crazy. I mean, it's, it's just slightly left, slightly right. Um, I'm sure if you threw something super understable, it could give you a really weird flight. I don't know. I haven't experimented with the shot that much uh, just because I don't use it for anything other than just a straight line uh, shot over some trees or if I'm just trying to hit a very specific distance that I don't want it to go anywhere after that. Um, it's a pretty short video. There's not a lot to it. You're just going to have to go out and experiment with it. Uh, like I said, find a disc that fits in your hand, do the little hook grip thing, and then you're just throwing a very, very extreme hyzer. Uh, and I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to hit before end of this video. Uh, not really. I don't know. It's useful. I know I played a tournament out in Texas, and I threw a grenade on 10 out of the 18 holes. So it is a useful shot to have in your bag. Um, you may not use it very often, but uh, it's worth giving a try, and I hope this helps you out. Uh, if you have any other questions or you're struggling with the shot, uh, I might be able to give you some pointers. Uh, but uh, good luck, and I hope uh, you learn something new.